I'm making it happen at TCI College. Big question for you. Who makes the best latke? Well, you can find out at the 6th Annual Latke Festival on December 15th. This has become a beloved holiday tradition. And to tell us more are Liz Newmark, who's the CEO of Great Performances and the founder of the Sylvia Center, along with executive chef Tim Sullivan. Hello to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. So we have to ask, all right, before we get to the latkes, how did the idea for the festival come up? Well, you know, Christmas time, you think about all that incredible food, and the unsung hero of the holiday season is the potato. <laughs> and, you know, we so many fancy ingredients, but the plain potato, everybody can have a potato, should be celebrated. Now, who participates in the festival? We have three to four hundred latke lovers from all corners of the city. So, you know, we say you don't have to be Jewish. Uh, we have just all different kinds of New Yorkers. It's a great, great, great event, you know, and it, it truly has become a beloved holiday tradition. All right, we also want to find out a little bit more about the Sylvia Center. Great. Well, the uh, proceeds of the festival go to benefit the Sylvia Center, and the Sylvia Center is a wonderful nonprofit. We work in um, community centers in NYCHA housing after school mm -hmm. with children from kindergarten through teenagers, and our goal is to inspire children well. So it's a culinary program. They cook. You know what? Educating children about proper and good nutrition and food habits and things like that's certainly sweeping the country, you know, but just talk about the impact. How is it being received, you know, from what you're trying to do there at the center? It's incredibly powerful because, first of all, how can you make good decisions about what to eat if you don't, you don't know, know how to cook? Mm -hmm. And if you don't know what good ingredients are, and most importantly, if you don't know how good it tastes. So, you know, we turn on taste buds, we inspire children, and uh, they get all excited about things they never knew. Okay. Tim, so yes. um, what are we going to be making up today, sir? A new specific type of latke? Yes, or? we're going to just be talking about latkes, and uh, it's very personal when you make your latkes. Everyone's latkes are different. Okay. So basic ingredients here, we have uh, flour, eggs, potato. Uh, we're using a russet potato because of the moisture content low moisture content okay so potato always has to have a low moisture content yes well okay. that's gonna help it to be crispier okay okay and it's also a high starch in a russet potato okay which is again gonna help it to be crispier so Liz is uh, grating up the potato right now okay. uh, we're gonna add in uh, two eggs flour I don't know if it's, I that's all right, we got shells in there. Sorry, <laughs> Marvin. <laughs> now, now we know why they're a little crispy. <laughs> so again, this is the basic ingredients, but everyone else uh, puts flares on it. So uh, we were talking earlier, uh, you had one with the spaghetti squash. Right. Um, so everyone has different plays on what they're doing. And over here, we have two of the restaurants that we're going to be featuring at the Locket Festival and okay. two different spins on that. So uh, right here is from Dizzy's Club Coca-Cola. Okay. Um, fried green tomato Locket with an apple butter oh, wow. okay so what we've done is we've taken potato uh, thin put a tomato inside almost like a, 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 a breading on it right. and then fried it um, apple butter we just cooked down the apple and uh, apple thickened up itself and, and that's the garnish there from Dizzy's a little Dizzy's, horseradish in that apple butter right yes horseradish in that apple butter as well okay. um, from Brooklyn Academy of Music uh, chef Nima's recipe so we have Brooklyn braised uh, beef brisket okay. going on top of this laka, and then cauliflower and toasted pine nuts on this laka. Th his laka has got a spin on it because he uses celery root and uh, and potato in his. Okay, so what's the topping on the one in the middle again? This is a curried cauliflower and pine nut. Wow, yes. I would have never thought that. So, you now getting back to what Liz is doing over here. Sure. Oh, I thought, oh the shell made it. I, did, I didn't get in there. I was worried. <laughs> So, okay, two eggs. How much flour goes into it? We used about, uh, Liz can put a little bit more in there. I'd say about three tablespoons of flour in there. Um, we're also going to season that with salt and pepper. I know uh, many people use onions. Liz, at home, you? Uh... Well, it's a big debate about what, the, you know, what you put in. Right. I use onions. I sweat them or saute them a little bit. And I have a very secret ingredient okay. uh, that's in my cookbook called Sylvia's Table. Okay. Um, and I will tell you. Should I whisper? And, no, I'll tell you. I got a mic. <laughs> <laughs> I use a little um, dried onion soup mix. 
Okay. Oh, I hate to say it. No, you know what? My, that's my perfect. grandmother's secret recipe, actually. I uh, probably learned it from her. Yeah, you know, oh my gosh. She uses the uh, the golden or the, uh, the onion one, you know, the dried one. Yeah, exactly. No, she uses that a lot. My grandmother, Virginia B, she uses that also. Because then that just modulates the flavor of the onion, and it gives you a little bit of that salt and pepper, so you don't have to add salt and pepper separately. It's so interesting. I was making lentil soup last night. I actually sprinkled some of that in there, you know, because I'm trying to get into the holiday. You know, you eat eating yes, out and stuff, like, so I'm trying to keep it healthy when I'm not, like, you know, doing something bad as far as eating bad stuff at people's houses, you know. Oh, well, I'll give you my, my <laughs> other latka tip, and I think we did this two years ago. Nice latka dipped in chocolate. Mm. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I'm so, getting into so much know. trouble. All right, so tell us how the winner is selected. How do you determine which is the best latka? We have two judges. Uh, judges. Okay. Well, we have two ways of judging. We have people's choice, and then we have an incredible lineup of judges, including uh, former basketball commissioner David Stern as a judge, okay. Joe Nathan. Uh, we have the director of food policy for New York City, Barbara Turk, coming, uh, Karen Grinfall from the Food Network. So it's really very, very impressive group. Okay, so let's see. Now, I go to BAM all the time, so sure. I guess this should be the one that I should try, right? Yes. Okay, let's see. I'll just take this one. And this has got brisket on top of it, right? Yes. Okay. What'd your grandmother Brooklyn. say about that? <laughs> we like brisket. <laughs> oh, I'm good. And very good. With and coffee in the morning. And the latke tastes really nice, Tim. Great, great. This is good. Okay, I like this one. <laughs> I'll vote for this one. All right, let me put the information up about where you can actually check out the annual Lotka Festival. Again, it's on December 15th, and we're going to be putting it on our website. So for more about today's topics and everything else you've seen, go to MyFoxNY.com and click on the Public Affairs tab. You can also like us on Facebook. You can follow us on Twitter. We want to thank you for joining us. I'm Antoine Lewis. We'll see you next time for more Street Talk. Thanks for the company. Thank you. Thanks. I'll finish the rest of it. Okay. And we're a little hungry. Ha, 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 ha.